Catholic Church from when he was in elementary st uh, school at St. Boniface. He says he has heard numerous stories from his classmates and now is the time to speak out. News 18's Anna Darling learned more about Travis Kearney's story. She shares how he and his family have been affected since. Anna? Yeah, Kayla, Kearney spoke exclusively to News 18 today. He says what he suffered was emotional and psychological abuse. We are not naming the priest, but calling him Father R. And Kearney says he is not the only one who has suffered. It's really weird, the secrecy around all of it. I don't understand the reason behind it. Secrecy surrounding events that took place nearly 30 years ago. And now Travis Kearney is looking for answers. He followed me home. Uh, he came to my house unannounced. He asked my mother if he could take me, who was in fifth grade at the time, and my sister, who was in first grade at the time, on a run. Kearney says his mom had enough common sense to say no. He says after she learned more of what Father R was doing in the schools, she reported it to the church. She didn't for once, you know, have any kind of blind obedience to, oh, this is a priest, there can't be anything wrong. She immediately thought, you know, why is my son asking me what to do when a girl says stop? Why is this priest coming to my house? He says his mom was told to keep quiet and was shunned from the church. But she should have been received as a hero, you know, coming to help these people. Um, but instead, it was just deny, deny, deny. He says he has had a number of former classmates reach out to him. One person who wishes to remain anonymous said, I was called over to the rectory three times during recess and he had me take my shirt off, but he never touched me. I remember him holding my legs as I did sit-ups. Kearney emailed the diocese asking for more information about Father R. They responded that they were not able to positively ID him, but the diocese said if it did get his name, it would report his name to the police. Kearney says he gave the full name to the church five days ago. LPD confirmed that no report has been filed with them. The church said in a statement that the diocese did receive Kearney's information. They said the diocese and our conduct and ministry office investigated these reports and were not able to substantiate the claims. Kearney just wanted to know what happened to Father R. And after waiting weeks for a response, he found what he needed in just two days. I found his age. I found where he's located. Um, I found that he's no longer a priest. I found a newspaper clipping dated November 21st, 1989, um, stating that he was moved to a retreat in Michigan. All he wants is a simple apology for his mother. You came to us and said, hey, these kids are not being protected, and we shunned you. We should have thanked you. And Kearney hopes that by sharing his story, others affected by Father R will find the courage to share their story. Anna Darling, News 18. Thank you, Anna. Nearly a month after they were first...